Hello guys, Nato Ace here and I want to give my impression of this but I already had it for a long time ago since 2017 and that is the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller so yes I bought a second one last year it was on sale for I think $50 I mean mostly it's like $60, $70 if I remember and you thinking why am I doing impression of this old accessory well of course in 2022 you know the story about the Fable Switch Pro or a lot of people keep saying when is it the next Nintendo Switch gonna come or the next Nintendo console so with that said if you ever say buy a Switch do you really need this well if you're a hardcore Nintendo Switch player maybe if you want that full experience but I can tell you having the Joy-Con with the Joy-Con controller grip it's okay for what it is, but I can see why if you're very intense, you're really hardcore, you're very in tune to the experience of the video game, you might want to do use a Nintendo Switch controller because it is kind of comfortable for that one. So with that said, yes, so by now, most Switch owners are going to have one of these. If you're not, here it is, here I am, this is the reason why I'm showcasing this. So this is the front of the box, and in the back explain to what it is so what it comes with is the controller and a USB so you can charge it on the dock while you're playing of course it's also compatible with the AC adapter from the switch there you go so option is there so with that said let's open and what it looks inside I got my scissors so again kids don't play with scissors all right let's cut this it has some good wrapping tape or you know whatever you call that tape thing seal tape that's what I'm saying I don't know why I said wrapping and then like I said uh, it'll be interesting if they ever do the next Nintendo console maybe the old peripheral the Joy-Con and the Switch Pro controller should be compatible I mean look what happened with the Wii U the Wii accessories were compatible so that was good and I know it kinda doesn't make sense if you use it with the Switch but you know, that's what the Joy-Con controller are. It's sort of like a remote for 2017. So I think I opened that enough. Let's see if I can just open it. There you go, it's open. And then let's open the box. All right, first things I'm gonna get is the controller. That's the first thing you get, so. Here's the controller, I'll open it later some piece of cardboard and like I said USB to charge it comes in handy and yeah well no surprise no manual but of course you just look in the back of the box can explain. I mean it's, it's kind of self-explanatory but I'll explain it later so let's throw the box away so you saw the USB cord now there it is a controller here and then this is what it looks like and again I'm sort of targeting this video for the general audience who decide to buy a Switch for whatever reason. I mean, chances are a lot of people think that it might be 2024, kind of makes sense. But here it is, the controller. So here's the stick and then the button. So when you play it, it feels like you're playing either a PS4 or a 360 controller. That's kind of remind me of. And then at the top, it's a USB-C. That's where you charge it. And that button, what it'll do is for your switch if you need to like connect it that's one way the other one is the usb common sense for any console with wireless controller so that's what it looks like the front so the question really is i'll put this down do you really need this controller to get the maximum full experience of the switch to some extent believe it or not no most into and hardcore will say you should but like I said, mostly this price is like $70 and I don't think a lot of people will hawk out $70 if you're a casual gamer. So a lot of times they'll just say, oh, I'm cool with the Joy-Con controller because if you're playing it on the go, what are you using? The Joy-Con controller. So just have the grip. I know it's kind of weird, but like I said, if you want to kind of like save money, then there you go. Like I said, the Joy-Con controller with the grip, it's suffice enough to get a good experience full that's questionable 
But if you're very hardcore and you want to hack up money, then you can get Switch Pro Controller. Do I recommend it? Again, a little tricky unless, unless you want the maximum full experience and you're sort of a hardcore gamer, then probably. So that's even the keyword there, probably. But to some extent, really no. But the best part, I'm hopefully Nintendo thinking smart beside a system-based achievement and backwards compatibility is that if the next Nintendo console is sort of a Switch 2.0, kind of like the Wii U, have those past control accessory be backwards compatible, whether it's a dock, Pro Controller, the Joy-Con, etc, etc, etc. We'll just have to wait and see. A lot of people say it might be 2024. In a little teaser, if you follow my second channel, I'm going to give my thoughts on the Fable Switch Pro or, and of course, when should Nintendo reveal their next system? Do I need one? Probably not. Do I want one? Sure. The keyword is need and want. So with that, I'll see you guys later.